Hello fifth graders, welcome to lesson 7.3, fraction and whole number multiplication. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's objective is to multiply fractions by whole numbers. Please pause to write the objective in your notebook. Let's go ahead and begin our lesson with the unlock the problem. Charlene has five one pound bags of different color sands. For an art project, she will use three eighths pound of each bag of sand to create a beautiful sand art jar. How much sand will Charlene use in her jar? So we are going to be multiplying a whole number and a fraction. So if you look here, it says she has five one pound bags. So how much sand is in each bag? One pound. Okay, will Charlene use all of the sand in each bag? So is she gonna use a whole bag of each color. No, we know she won't because it says she will use three eighths of each bag. So no, only three eighths. So first off, we need to show that we are multiplying five, because we have five one pound bags of three eighths. So let's look at our model. We have five times groups of three eighths. So you can see I have five times, and here's a model showing eight, and three of them are colored in. We could also display this over here in an expression as five times three eighths. Now it says we're going to multiply the number of the eighth size pieces, and then we're gonna, and we're gonna put that by five. So we have five times three. Notice that the five came from here and the three came from our numerator. Now remember, we don't change denominators unless we're changing to a common denominator. So the eight is gonna stay the same and it's gonna scoot right over here. And then five times three is 15. So we're gonna have 15 total eighths. So let's think about that. Is 15 eighths a proper fraction? No, because eight goes into 15 more than once. 15 is bigger than eight. So let's fill in this array to show, well, this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have one whole array filled in and seven eighths. We could also write this as 15 eighths, and we know that 15, eight goes into 15 one time, which is eight, and we're left over with seven. So we get one and seven eighths. So there's going to be one and seven eighths pounds of sand in her finished sand art jar. Great job so far, fifth graders. Let's practice this skill again with a second model. Kristen brought in four loaves of bread to make sandwiches for class picnic. Her classmates used two thirds of the bread. How many loaves of bread were used? So we're going to shade the model to show two thirds of four. So we have four loaves of bread here and we're gonna look at the denominator. They're split into three. So one, two, we're gonna split each loaf of bread into three parts. And then we're gonna color in two of each of the loaves, two of each of the thirds. Okay, so now it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight thirds. So now let's go ahead and look at the math of that. Two thirds times four. So the three stays the same on the denominator, but we're gonna multiply two times four. Two times four is 
8 and the denominator change stays the same, so we get a 3. So look, we get the same thing by modeling and by multiplying. Now let's rearrange these four, and so we use a whole loaf of bread instead of throwing away all these extra pieces on the end. So if I do the same thing and I cut these loaves of bread into three, now I'm going to color in eight pieces because that's my numerator, but I'm going to color them in from a whole loaf of bread before I go to the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now I have eight thirds, which is what I had over here, eight thirds, but I've used one, two whole loaves of bread, and I've colored in two thirds of another loaf of bread. We can also do this by dividing eight in, in three. Three goes into eight two times, which is six, and we subtract we're left over with two. So the two is our whole number, the remainder is our numerator, and our denominator doesn't change. So our answer is that they used two and two third loaves of bread. Great job so far, fifth graders. Today's lesson activity is the try this section on your math book pages. You do not need to do this in your math notebook. You can go ahead and do it on your math pages. I'll get you started on number one. We're going to multiply four times seven eighths. So if you remember from the math part, we don't need to draw a model, but we could. We're going to multiply four, then whole number, times seven, the numerator, and then our denominator isn't going to change, so it's going to stay an eight. Four times seven is 28, and our denominator is eight. Now we can divide. How many times does eight go into 28? Well, I know that eight times three is 24, and eight minus four is four, and two minus two is zero. So that means that I went in three whole times with four pieces left over out of eight. And we could actually reduce that as well because four is half of eight, so we could call this three and one half. I'll get you started on B and then leave you to answer it by yourself. We're gonna multiply five times 12 and our denominator is going to be nine. Answer this question in a mixed number because your numerator will be larger than your denominator. Great job so far, fifth graders. We'll review the answer at the teacher's table.